So it's been about three weeks since JVC released their firmware 3.0 for their NZ series projectors during which time people have contacted me and asked what my preferences are. So here you go. But don't forget, this is a preference, not a reference settings. Let's start with standard dynamic range, set picture mode as natural, go to more settings, set LD power to zero, set dynamic control to mode two, Leave the aperture at maximum. Set contrast to minus 5. Go to brightness and set it to minus 5. Color at plus 4. And leave tint as is. Go back out and then go to gamma and set it at 2.4. Then go to motion control and set motion enhance to low. This will reduce motion judder but at the same time, it does not do frame interpolation. This way, there will be no soap opera effect added to your movie. Go to the second tab of the menu, then go to filmmaker mode and set it to manual. Now go back to the beginning and set the content type to HDR10. Then go to picture mode and set frame adapt HDR2. Then click more settings. Bring the LD power to 46. And then set the dynamic control to off. Set contrast to minus 5. Brightness to minus 3. And again, leave the tint as is. From there, go back to the first page. Go to the HDR processing and set it to frame by frame. Move on to Theater Optimizer, click OK. Scroll up to Screen Setting, and then press OK. Enter the Screen Size, Screen Aspect Ratio, and Screen Gain. Based on the brand, model, size, aspect ratio, and screen gain of your actual screen. When done, scroll back down to Theater Optimizer, click Set, and let the projector think. When done, your projector brightness will be approximately accurate for your screen. Move on to HDR Quantizer and set it to Wide. And for motion control, just like SDR, set motion enhance to Low. You're basically done now. So what's left to do now is to back up your settings to a USB stick, format the USB stick to FAT16, go to tab number 5, Scroll down, 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 down. All the way down to backup settings. Go to export settings. Press enter. And you're done. From there, you go back to your menu. Go to content type. Make sure you are under auto. And then you're absolutely done. So the last thing you have to do now is just leave your thoughts and comments down below. Click like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.